I want to talk about the concept of a phase shift. A phase shift basically requires that the student understands a parent graph. Example, if I said something like y equals x squared, I would hope we all understand that's going to be a parabola that's centered at the origin. So it has a vertex at the origin. I go right one, up one, left one, up one, right two, up four, left two, up four, so on and so forth. And so it creates this nice looking parabola right here, centered at the origin. Now what a phase shift does is it allows you to take this graph and move it anywhere you want on the Cartesian coordinate plane. So in other words, if I wanted this parabola to ha now have a vertex at negative 3, 5, essentially what I have to do is grab the parabola and move it to the left 3 units and up 5 units and have a new parabola, a new placement for my parabola. So let me explain. Here's my xy plane. I'd have to move to the left 1, 2, 3, and up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Meaning that I now want my vertex to be up here and then it would open the exact same way. In order to achieve this, I have to take this y equal x squared and shift it over. That's why we call it a phase shift. In order to shift it, I have to understand the movements that I desire. In order to move it negative 3, I'm going to have to say this, x plus 3 quantity squared. The reason why we say plus 3, it's the idea of solving this, finding a 0 here. What would make this 0? when I put negative 3 in for x. So when you have the parentheses like that, you'll always see the opposite value. Now I'm going to explain this two different ways, because I could go like this. I can use the hk concept where I say y equals the quantity x plus 3 squared, and then just go plus 5. That's our hk that we've, we're familiar with. We know that we can look at this and say our vertex is then at negative 3, and then we keep this value called 5. That's our h, that's our k. And that comes from the formula, in case you forgot, a times x minus h quantity squared plus k. Take the opposite of the h, keep the k. That's what that's saying right there. What I want to go off of this is show it as a phase shift idea. If I bring that k over, it could actually be written as y minus k, because I'm bringing the k from this formula here, bring it over, equals a times x minus h quantity squared. In other words, what I'm trying to show you here is that when you do a phase shift, you can always take the opposite of these values and plug them in with parentheses. So I can say, same parabola that's been shifted over, I can say y minus 5 is equal, our a in this case was 1, x plus 3 quantity squared. Now, once you understand a phase shift, that'll work for any type of equation. And I'm going to try to do a couple of these quick videos here to show you how we do phase shifts for different um, conics.